the blockchain is shaping up to be one of the most important emerging technologies and part of digital transformation in almost every sector, whether it's financial services, real estate, media, and uh, Wikipedia or uh, uh, Everypedia. For Tech Republic and ZDNet, my name is Dan Patterson with Dr. Larry Sanger. He is a co-founder of Wikipedia and the CIO of Everypedia, which is an open source blockchain encyclopedia that incentivizes editors by rewarding them with tokens for curating articles. It's a fantastic solution to a problem that has dogged the open internet since the internet became open. Dr. Sanger, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, I wonder if you could... Uh, help us understand the, how the blockchain relates to or helps enhance trust or trustless systems regarding uh, encyclopedias or, in this case, everypedias. Right. Um, well, thanks for having me. And uh, I, I have joined uh, Everypedia um, as of last September as uh, the chief information officer. Um, and uh, so... I, I'll give you the, the sort of background uh, on, on uh, Everpedia um, to begin with, and then, and then maybe talk a, a little bit about, about um, why the team has uh, decided to move um, n not just the content of Everpedia to the blockchain, but all encyclopedias, um, and you'll understand what I mean by that in a second. So... Um, Everpedia started uh, by uh, a few uh, UCL grads. Um, I got to know them just when they were getting, getting it started. Um, and uh, they tried to bring me on board and I said, oh, we don't have enough money to pay me. And then, uh, but the idea behind Everpedia um, is it's the encyclopedia of everything. The uh, topics are unrestricted, unlike on Wikipedia. Um, in Wikipedia land, there is this distinction between um, uh, inclusionists and exclusionists, right? Um, and we uh, on, at Everpedia are, are, are radical inclusionists. We, we want there to be um, no bar of, of uh, importance about it. I'll just give you one example. You've heard of the, of the tech blog, The Next Web. They were deemed not notable enough on Wikipedia to have an article about them. Um, Everpedia has an article about them. Um, and, uh, so, and, and there's a lot of other things. You know, they've updated the, um, the interface. It looks a lot cleaner, a lot more modern. Um, I really liked that. Another thing that, that I liked that sort of attracted me to this project is the fact that um, it's, it, it's kind of younger and fresher. Um, and uh, I think that the young people and everybody, I guess, who works on, on Everpedia, they don't take themselves quite as seriously as, as, uh, as they did on Wikipedia. And that, that was always my approach when I was involved, you know, in, when I was working for the first couple of years on the, on the communities that, that led to Wikipedia. I mean, I think that's important. If you want to be inclusive, you've got to open up to everybody. So um, now I, uh, I got into, the, uh, into this group um, in a sort of indirect way. I, I've never been satisfied with Wikipedia, right? My perspective on it is probably different from yours. You think of Wikipedia as, as enormous and useful. I don't. I think that it's limited and, and we could just do much better. Um, it, people just, they, they lack imagination, I guess. And so, so I was thinking a couple of years ago that what we really need to do in order to create a, a viable alternative to Wikipedia is to get all of, of our resources together. Um, we need to uh, bring all, what I mean by that is bring all the different encyclopedia articles about all the topics in the world and make them accessible from one place. And by that, I don't mean Google, right? Google already does that, but 
Google has this cacophony of information. I just want to focus and really organize the information, right? The focus on, on all the articles about each individual topic and then rate them. Um, and then another part of this idea was that um, the, uh, the contributors to this project um, would volunteer information about themselves if they wanted. They could say what their expertise was, what their institutional affiliations were, um, um, gender, ethnicity, nationality, whatever, all kinds of things like that. And then the people who would use this open resource, because it would be Creative Commons license, they would be able to, um, uh, they would be able, well, I'm talking about app builders, for example, they would be able to use that data and um, build different weightings, weightings of, of uh, the article, uh, of the articles, so that you would actually be able to see the best article according to one group or according to another group, if you see what I'm saying. Um, and then you would much more easily be able to, to approximate um, things like neutrality and um, uh, support by well-informed people. So um, uh, fast forward another couple of years, um, Sam Kazmian, the, the president of Everpedia, um, uh, called me up. And again, I, I had been in contact with them, with these guys, I even visited them like last year. Um, but he called me up last September and he said, have you heard of the blockchain? I said, yeah, well, uh, you know, I sort of, I kind of follow it a little bit, but I don't really know that much about it. Um, and then he said, we're thinking of putting Everpedia on the blockchain. Uh, now, Everpedia, one thing I didn't say about it is that it's a fork of Wikipedia. So what that means is they're talking about putting Wikipedia on the blockchain. Well, at least their edited version of, of Wikipedia, because they have actually added a lot of articles to, to Wikipedia. So, so Everpedia actually is the, the uh, largest English lang language encyclopedia online that, that I know of anyway. Um, so uh, we got to talking about it and, and um, I said, well, wait a minute, this is a way, and he sort of said the same thing at the same time. This is a way that, that we could execute your, I, I called it greater wiki. That was the name of the idea, right? Um, this is the way you, you could uh, execute the, the greater wiki idea. And the more I thought about it, you know, it didn't take that long. Um, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought, that's absolutely right. And so they, they brought me on board. And I'm, now I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm basically hoping to, uh, to organize this effort. And it's, uh, it's really exciting. But so, so that's all background. I, can you just repeat your actual question, though? Sure. Yeah. And in fact, that's a critically important background because what you're talking about there from a macro perspective is editorial transparency when it comes to the content of a resource many millions of people rely on. And yeah. uh, there is a, a meta conversation happening within the Wikipedia community uh, that that is about how... Mm -hmm. content is added and what types of sources are included. And you did a great job of summarizing that problem as well as a solution to that problem, which is the blockchain. When you say added it to the blockchain, those in crypto circles might have an idea about what you're talking about. Yeah. But what do you mean specifically when you took the content, uh, a mm -hmm. fork of Wikipedia and, and placed the content on the blockchain along with these other mechanics in terms of paying contributors and editorial transparency? Sure. Um, so it's, it's very interesting. I didn't really understand the ramifications like three months ago myself. Um, so I wouldn't blame anyone for not, not understanding. Um, but uh, a, a blockchain uh, is basically a, a, a list of, of transactions. It's a ledger. Um, and it can be used to represent a database. Um, to incrementally in a sort of linear fashion. And, and um, so what, what uh, the guys are doing, um, I'm not 
at all responsible for this part of it. Um, uh, they are putting um, all of the content that is now in Everipedia into something called IPFS, the Interplanetary File System. Um, and uh, you can look it up. And, and the idea is this is going to be sort of uh, a distributed database um, that serves the blockchain. Um, sort of works in tandem with with uh, the blockchain. The blockchain itself um, will consist of, as I understand it, I hope I've got this right, um, a, a lot of pointers to nodes on, on IPFS. And then um, another important part about about this uh, is that that the the blockchain doesn't live in one place. It's not like on Everpedia servers, and it's not going to be owned by Everpedia. That in fact doesn't even make sense in the context of blockchain. Um, uh, it it is a distributed project. It's kind of like um, peer to peer technology. But I actually think maybe a better analogy. Um, uh, well, it's sort of a combination of peer to peer and just the internet itself because it's a protocol that is sort of overlaid on top of, 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 of the internet, um, on top of, you know, HTTP. Um, so um, the protocol, when I say that, what I mean is um, that uh, when it's all set up, um, it will be possible for people to basically propose adding information to the blockchain, to add a new block. Um, and then uh, other people who have tokens, um, and tokens, by the way, I'll talk a little bit more about them, but they're, they're earned by doing work on, on the blockchain um, by adding, uh, adding blocks yourself, really. Um, so those people uh, come to a, a consensus decision, essentially, um, about whether some information should be added. To the blockchain. Um, so, uh, in terms of like editorial standards, um, just to get on an encyclopedia blockchain is going to be relatively easy, at least according to the protocols that I have in mind. We will we will simply define what an encyclopedia article is. That's something I did a lot when I was working on on. Wikipedia. I'm the guy who started the "What Wikipedia Is Not" page, um, and uh, so we'll we'll you know hammer you know nail that down, and and um, make sure uh, that that's all properly propagated and accepted, and endorsed by other potential uh, users to begin with, and then when the initial protocol is adopted then it should be a very low bar um, allow, uh, that, that allows uh, encyclopedia articles to, to get onto the blockchain, right? The actual interesting editorial decisions that are made won't actually take place at that level. Um, we, uh, another uh, type of data that will, will, that will go on the blockchain will be um, uh, information about uh, raters of articles and the ratings themselves, right? Um, and so, uh, different users of the uh, of the information that makes up the blockchain, um, app builders and so forth, um, and Everpedia itself, because we of course will have our own front end. We'll have the first front end for it. Um, they will make the decisions about um, how to use. The ratings, all of the all, all of the information about ratings of articles, about and, and determine what order articles should be placed in, you know. And and again, by that, what I'm what I'm talking about is uh, just imagine uh, a topic page about France, and I just imagine um, we'd probably display on Everpedia. We'll just display the top rated article um, right there and allow people to, to easily find the other articles, but there will also be a page that just lists a ranking of all the articles, right, um, that, are, that are available on that. Um, and uh, so, uh, and, and users will be able to go in and read those articles 
um, and uh, via our interface to, to submit their own ratings.